Hi to all the lovely people, you all are once again most most welcome to your very own channel that is Tutorials Point. Well, there are certain words in English which we end up confusing because they sort of sound so same or they kind of look so similar that we just confuse their meanings and we end up using them interchangeably sometimes or sometimes we end up using them in the wrong context under the presumption that they mean something else. Well, not really because English has huge vocabulary. Definitely there are chances wherein we might just mess it up. And are you one amongst those who ends up confusing these words? Well, if you are, just look at this entire video because if you are confusing these words, definitely you will not going forward. And if you're not confusing them, wow, kudos, you are amazing. Well, let's go ahead and see whether you do confuse them or you don't. Resign and resign. So, well, both of these words sound almost the same with the sound of Z, but their meaning is completely different. Resign means when you give up something, right? You might want to resign from your job. Resign means to sign again. So they, they are completely pulls apart and we cannot dare to mess up with them because we cannot dare to use them interchangeable. Their meanings are completely different. So here's an example. I will resign from my current job because our boss is rude. Well, if that happens to you, if your boss is rude and you're way too frustrated, you might want to resign from your job. But on the contrary, if your boss is amazing and you're enjoying the work that you do, along with the money that you're getting and the perks which you get, well then, you might want to re-sign your job. So, completely different and I'm sure you cannot sort of afford to mix these words up and you cannot afford to mess them up. So, be careful when you use them next time. Compliment versus compliment. Again, they sound absolutely the same, but the spelling is slightly different. So, C-O-M-P-L-I-M-E-N-T is when you praise anybody, right? Or when you um, sort of, you know, you just, just, just use an adjective to describe somebody in the best way possible. That is when you compliment them. But the contrary, C-O-M-P-L-E-M-E-N-T is when you feel that there are two things or two people who just fit with each other perfectly and they make an amazing pair that is when you when they complement each other so here's an example she complimented me for my decent dressing which means she praised me for my decent dressing on the contrary she gave me a compliment or on the contrary her red skull skirt complements her shoes which means her red skirt goes perfectly with her shoes so her shoes and her skirt combination looks great together so that is the difference between compliment and compliment just a difference of i and e but be careful the meaning changes empathy and sympathy well both of these words kind of sound almost the same just with the difference of e and s but they mean completely completely different and most people end up confusing both these words and we don't want that to happen so let's see what is the correct meaning empathy refers to the ability to feel someone's feeling so you when you feel someone's feeling is when you empathize with them but when you just merely feel sorry for their situations or for their tough times or for their whatever you know hardships they are going through that is when you sympathize with them so sympathy and empathy are completely different from each other and definitely you don't want to mess up both of them so let's take it an example his empathy enabled him to avoid a quarrel jack's sympathy made him give money to his sick neighbor so when you are sympathizing with someone you could you know not take the best decisions or you're just feeling sorry for them but when you're empathizing with anybody you get into a solution mode and because why why because that is because you feel the same feelings as you know that of the person so you are you are empathizing with that person so well you can choose and decide where you want to empathize or where you want to sympathize 
principle versus principle okay again two very very commonly confused words so what is the difference so principle ending with p a l is the head of this school whom we all definitely have seen in our lives and the principle ending with p l e is sort of a, a common belief or a common method which is commonly used that is the principle that could be the underlying principle of 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 any object of the camera of the of your phone it could be anything so that is the difference between these two principles now let's look at an example their school gave a reception to the new principal these two medical instruments work on the same principle so this principle is the method that means the principle ending with p l e but on the contrary the principle ending with p a l is the head of the school so they are very different from each other you cannot end up messing with their spellings last but not the least again a very very commonly confused word is stationary well again there are two stationaries one stationary which has an a and the other stationary which has an e so what is the difference in their meanings well their meanings are completely different and definitely um you don't want to sound wrong okay so the stationary with a is refers to something which cannot move but the stationary with e is actually sort of a shop wherein you can get your or um you know your your daily stuff like your pen pencil rubber rubber and all your 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 paper your file sheets and all that stuff that is what is um you know referred to as the stationery so it is used to refer to letter writing material especially high quality material so your pen pencil you know file sheets bundles and all of that stuff refers to to this stationery with with an e right so again they sound the same hence they might be very very confusing so be careful while you're using them let's do with an example her vehicle remained stationary because it had too much weight i printed my homework on my best stationery so so stationery and stationery well be careful while you use it well friends i'm sure um definitely all these words would have been very very helpful to you especially if you used to mess up with them but i'm sure now you won't anymore going forward well i will see you again in the next video till that time keep learning with tutorials point and tutorials have a good day